Hello, this is Ken Young with Zoom Data, here to get you started with launching Zoom Data on Amazon Web Services. We've set up one-click deployments with AWS that automate all the steps involved to connect, stream, and visualize data using the Zoom Data server. This easy deployment is also available on other major cloud platforms. For additional information for other cloud or on-premise deployment options, check out our website. As you're getting started and thinking about your setup, I'll point out that our AWS one-click deployment is designed for scale. It's been built around a modern distributed architecture that supports multi-tenancy, and with one click, it's easy to add in additional Zoom data servers and a load balancer to scale the high-performance experience for your users. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we need to launch Zoom data on AWS. Here's an overview of the steps you'll need to take in order to complete the setup process. One, either log in or create your AWS account. Two, select the appropriate region in the pricing details section. Three, select your launch option. Note that this video walks you through the one-click launch option. Four, choose a software pricing option. Five, select an EC2 instance type. Six, select the appropriate security group. Seven, accept the terms of service and activate. And eight, launch Zoom data in your web browser and log in. Let's get started. Navigate to the AWS Marketplace and sign into your account. Or if you don't have an account yet, then create one. Then enter Zoom Data into the search field. From the search results, select Zoom Data Server. You'll access the details page, which provides a description of Zoom Data, subscription information, license agreement, link to our support page, and Pricing options. In the pricing information section, be sure to select the region you are in to view the relevant prices. When you are ready to proceed, click Continue. On the next screen, you'll select your EC2 instance launch option. There are two options available to you the one click launch and manual launch. We'll walk through the one-click launch option, which gives you immediate access to Zoom data, meaning that the app is activated upon your acceptance of the AWS terms, and usage charges will apply. First, select the software pricing option. In our demo, we'll choose hourly. Next, select the instance type. You'll select a suitable option that will meet Zoom data's minimum hardware requirements. We'll select the M4.2x large instance the most cost-efficient option in our region that meets the specifications. The latest Zoom data release version is selected by default, but you do have the option to select a different version. We'll stick with the latest version. Next, select the appropriate security group, which means choosing the port that Zoom data uses, port 8443. With the configuration completed, we recommend doing a quick review of your selections before selecting the Launch button. When you're ready to activate, select the Launch with One Click button. You'll be given the option to register for Zoom Data support. Our AWS demo comes built in with Zoom Data Premium support, which means you can email support as you go through your trial. We recommend you take advantage of it by registering for Zoom Data support at this point. It takes only a minute. Next, you can review software installation details in the summary page. It will take a few minutes for the Zoom Data instance to be installed and set up. You can check the status of the instance by selecting the EC2 console link. A note for quick troubleshooting. One, if you don't see the Zoom Data in your EC2 instance, look at your EC2 console region and make sure it's the same region you defined in the Zoom Data configuration. Use the drop down to switch between regions. If you don't remember which region was defined, simply click back to the configuration. You are not paying for the instance until you start using it, so don't worry if you need to click the Activate button again. 2. If you get to this page, which looks like a screen for manual setup, it means AWS didn't launch your Zoom Data instance. Unfortunately, in this case, you need to start over with selecting and configuring your options again. OK, let's continue with the setup. In the EC2 console screen, you can see your Zoom Data instance. Wait a few minutes before launching the Zoom Data instance so that it has enough time to complete its setup. 
In order to access the app, you need to locate the public DNS address and enter it into a new browser window. Select the Zoom Data instance to see its details below. Select the Usage Instructions tab and copy the Zoom Data URL into a new tab or browser window. Next, return to the Description tab and copy the actual public DNS address and paste over the placeholder text in the URL. Here's your opportunity to register with support if you didn't previously. Skip this registration screen if you registered earlier. The Zoom Data login screen will appear. Enter your default username and password. The initial password will be the instance ID shown in your AWS account. Copy the ID and paste into the Zoom Data password field. Now you're ready to use Zoom Data. Look out for an email from us with a code to claim EC2 credits that you can use in addition to the 30-day Zoom Data trial. In Zoom Data, you can visualize big data in seconds. You can connect to our sample data set or create a connection to your own data source. Zoom Data natively connects to the largest number of modern data sources, including S3, Redshift, and Snowflake on AWS. For a step-by-step -step guide to connecting and visualizing in Zoom Data, check out our documentation. If you need additional support, you can access our support site to request technical assistance. We hope you enjoy your Zoom Data experience.